are now preparing uh, the, the one of, we have two wraps that we make, ones with uh, hummus and avocado, hummus and tabbouleh and bruschetta, and ones with tuna and coleslaw. And we are demonstrating the tuna coleslaw one. And um, most of it, the preparation, we were doing ahead of time and then just showing how to assemble it. But I wanted to capture on film what I consider to be good uh, chopping uh, and knife work. And it's a rocking, rolling motion. And Erica's going to demonstrate that on these little pickles that we call Cornish hands. <laughs> so I start with the, the point of the knife on the cutting board, and you just want to always keep it there. You're just rocking back and forth like that. And once you get good at it, you can go kind of fast, but don't cut off your fingers. <laughs> and so then with these, we cut them, and then we cut them again into smaller pieces. So you just kind of go back and forth across the pile. It's just a rocking forward and back. And this is great for like mincing herbs, especially. It gets them really tiny, or like garlic, if you're chopping dill garlic, or garlic. Yeah. And it's much superior to lifting the knife up. But uh, that's that's the motion. It's not too complicated once no, you start doing it. Not at all. And now I have newly sharpened knives, and I'm going to keep sharpening, which helps. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, now you can't shut this off. So if you shut off, it goes to a new video. So let's quickly. You can go start over this. the ingredients over there. Okay, so what we have, which I just had in one place, we have the tuna. Well, we can uh, bring it over. Which we're going to bring over to. Just before we start, we line everything up right on this uh, area right over here. Like a restaurant. Um, and uh, we put the hot sauce, um, the tuna, the coleslaw. The tortillas, the avocados that uh, have been sliced order. thinly, and the uh, little cornichons, and the cheese, whichever cheese we're using today. We're using wasabi's goat cheese. There's and, one, but yeah, you need um, to. Put the oh. drop in. <laughs> yeah, but you need more than that. Yeah, so you don't no, I understand. The other one. We'll actually, turn on that light. And open up the tuna, please. Yeah, the new one. And can you smell the old tuna and make sure everything's good? Mm -hmm. Everything is put down. She's cut the um, wax paper and uh, the squares and the thin foil the square. And I just want to put the wax paper over. Mm -hmm. Actually, let me I'll put these guys into their little respective wrappers here. Just so they're on the way. Okay. There we go. Excuse me, sweetie. I'm just going to get myself in here in the right place. I'll just pop in. Okay, let me come like this, and then you come. See, you're in the wrong spot. Okay, go. All right, Libby. So, so the first thing you do is um, we just are heating up the tortillas on, on a very dry skillet. No oil, no anything. And once it, you, you just feel it with your hand. And, and once, once you can warm, feel that it's very hot through the wrap, like right, you know. Is it not hot yet? Okay. No, it, it's pretty when much it's, good to flip. Okay, flip it. And then you take the cheese little pieces of it. I kind of like to cross hatch it with a knife before I put it on. Much easier. You just kind of sprinkle on little chunks. It doesn't matter where they end up because we're going to spread it once it heats up. Yeah. And then get the cover quickly, honey. And we cover it now at this point. Turn the heat down a little Turn bit. Turn the heat down and we, to kind of medium and we let the cheese warm up and as soon as the tortilla kind of bubbles and the cheese is soft we quickly take it off and put it on the wax paper and then we'll show you how we assemble the wrap. Want to check in? Huh? Starting to puff. Yeah, good. One more moment. One more moment. <laughs> And what do you use for the tuna? Your fingers or or a spoon? Fingers. Okay. Unless I'm okay. Look, diseased. And what do you think? I think you can go yeah. a little more. Yeah. <coughs> I like it when it bubble bubbles. Marin likes it with brown toasty spots. On and the when it side. bubbles. Yes. All right. 
I can tell a joke. So chicken and egg were in bed together and the chicken's leaning, lying back with a cigarette, smoking a cigarette with a self-satisfied grin. And the egg is sitting up with a complaining to no one in particular. Mm. I was and on the first spread of okay. cheese. All over <laughs> Gotta keep a watch on you. See, I'm paranoid there. about the hot sauce because we, we forgot it. Yes. We put the tuna down first by mistake. So save the punchline quickly. I'm jumping. Okay, sorry. Okay, that's okay. This is more important. Yeah, okay. We'll come back. Time with it. Then the hot sauce, you do a line starting an inch in or so. Nice medium sized line. Good. And then after that, you take tuna and she makes a nice little stack of it. Yeah, you kind of want to make a little tuna like brick. A brick. Right on top of the hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Is it all the way to the left and right? Perfect. Okay, then you take coleslaw. Mm -hmm. And yeah. And I mean, if if you're sick or something, you could use a fork, but it's so much easier to just do everything with your hands. Okay. One more? No, it's more than one. Okay. And then you take, you make a little building out of the avocado. Mm -hmm. So we kind of Put the avocados along the side like to hold structure. it. Up. Yeah, it's like a retaining wall <laughs> of avocado. Delicious avocado. And this is care of Dory, who is not only taking the shots, but I said, "Can you put avocado with tuna?" And she shared with me that who cares <laughs> where she works has a, a tuna avocado wrap. So that was the. So the beginning that's of this great rant. the kind of avocado coating, and then you sprinkle these cornichons on top, and you want to do it evenly so that you yeah. don't get a big bite that's all pickle or and a bite I don't that's like no pickle. Tons, remember? I don't yeah. like tons. I like. Marin likes to like dusting. I like dusting. <laughs> Good. And they stick to your fingers, which is a pain. But that's it. Okay, so now I just kind of shake my fingers off in the sink because I'm usually covered with something, and then this is. This is the hard part, but it gets easy every time you do it. So you want to fold the ends. Yeah, yes. you want to fold the ends in like that. Try not to crush the patty too much, although you know it's gonna happen. And this is hard; it gets a little crispy from having been in the pan. But you want to kind of flip it up like you're making an envelope, and then hold this whole thing and kind of keep squishing it as you roll it, so that everything stays contained. And you know you're gonna have some debris, so don't worry. And then as soon and as it's the rolled, edges. the key is to take the tin foil, wax paper, and quickly roll it up in it because it makes the seal. Even if I'm eating the sandwich immediately, I'll have uh, people roll it up because it helps to seal the wrap. Mm -hmm. and that's uh, the wrap. That's the wrap. That's and I'll wrap. finish the joke. So, um, the chicken's laying back with a self-satisfied grin smoking a cigarette and the egg is sitting up for not looking very happy and complaining to nobody in particular says well i guess that answers the age-old question Ta -da.